All right, so like we discussed in class, what we're trying to do today is not only work on opposite operations instead of, you know, subtracting 3, adding 3, or multiplying by 4, dividing by 4, but also realizing that what also happens has to happen in the opposite way is the order in which we work things out. Now, before we even get to that, let's talk about some stuff that should have uh, come up last year, but it's probably been a while that sometimes what we would like to do before we start actually doing the work is to simplify the problem, like in this case. Here I've got parentheses times 4, and this should look familiar from last year, which is this is distributive property. And so one thing that I would keep an eye on as you're doing all your work today is make sure that what you're working with is the most simplified version of the equation before getting to any work. So here, 4 times n becomes 4n, and 4 times 3, with the minus sign just dropping down, is 12. All right, so now that I've cleaned it up a little bit, now I can start focusing on quote-unquote undoing things. I need to get rid of this minus 12, so at some point we're going to add 12. I have to get rid of this times 4, so at some point we're going to divide by 4. But in what order does that happen? Well, for that, what we have is the order of operations. When we used to do math problems, not equations, but just straight out math problems, we were told that these operations had to be done in a specific order, that anything in parentheses had to be dealt with first, then exponents, then multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. So for us, not only are we supposed to do the opposite operations, we have to do them in the reverse order. And so that's where in class we discuss the whole roadmap concept. So let's take a look here at the same problem. What we want to do is we want to think to ourselves, well, how was this <clears throat> equation created? If this is the first time we'd seen this equation and somebody built it up from scratch using the order of operations, well, I need to list that out. So assume what happened here was that the only thing that they started out with was n, the variable that we're solving for. So over on my, um, my roadmap work, and this is where we're going to list things out, we're going to put n. And so according to order of operations, the first thing they would have done is any parentheses, which there are none. We took care of that earlier by simplifying. And then any exponents, but there's no exponents here. So next, according to the order of operations, multiplication and division would have happened next. So what would have happened is they would have taken n and multiplied by 4. So I'm just listing out the order of operations. So now I've got 4n. And it looks like the next thing they did was the last step in order of operations, which was to add and subtract. In this case, subtract 12. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to put together the previous lessons that we've worked on, plus the idea that when we're trying to solve an equation, we're basically undoing the entire thing. In other words, we're trying to reverse all the work that was done. So what we do here on our roadmap is we pull a U-turn. Okay, and we reverse these directions that we were given. So since the last thing that they did to create this equation was subtract 12, our first move is to add 12. And so we're going to use the addition property of equality to add 12 to one side. What I do to one side of the equal sign, I do it to the other. These purposely cancel out. And here we get 28. Then I keep going reverse order. The first thing they did was to multiply by 4, so that's the last thing I'm going to do, which is to divide by 4. So divide by 4, divide by 4, so I get n equals 7. And if we go back to the original problem and check it out, 4 times 7 minus 12 equals 16, 28 minus 12 equals 16, 16 equals 16, and it checks out. Okay, so this is our big concept for today. This idea of writing out these directions so that not only are we keeping track of what opposites we're doing, but that we're also making sure we're pulling this U-turn and doing things in the opposite order as well.